Hello, welcome to Defense Info, a one-step solution for all your defense need. Do like the video, hit the bell icon and please like, share and subscribe before we begin. Hello all my dear aspirant. Today we will going to discuss about the LCA Tejas. So let us begin friends. It is designed by Aeronautical Development Agency and HAL the Hindustan Aeronautical Limited for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. HAL LCA is the first Indian fighter aircraft after HF-24 Marut. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft LCA program which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters and was officially named as Tejas in 2003. Tejas means radiant in Sanskrit. LCA Tejas is a single engine multi role fighter aircraft. It is the 4 plus generation tailless compound delta wing, small, agile, and high alpha performance aircraft. It is capable of doing air to air superiority ground attack roles. LCA Tejas having Israeli made Elta EL M2032 multi mode all weather fire control radar with day and night. It having a turbofan engine which provides GE F404 engine 53.9 kN thrust as dry and 90 kN with afterburner. It having advanced missiles such as Astra BVR missiles R73, R77 and I Dubai air to air missiles. It also can be integrated with BrahMos NG missiles and can launch guided missiles, which includes Spice 2000. LCA Tejas having specification like with max speed 1.6 Mach, combat range 500 km, range which can be extended. To 1850 km with three external drop tanks and having service ceiling of 16500 meter and G limit with plus G to minus 3.5 and it having a thrust by weight ratio 1.07 so guys it having more than one so it means that it is capable of doing vertical acceleration LCA Tejas uh, having a family which is divided into various variant as depicted in the diagram and detail of which is mentioned below. So you can see guys the currently in mark 1 uh, of the LCA Tejas version the IOC is in 16 aircraft which is already inducted and the FOC 16 aircraft which will be delivered and which also include the final FOC twin seat 8 aircrafts. So these are the things which we need to see. LCA Tejas, the final operation clearance variant is the one desired by the Indian Air Force which asks for few changes to be done in the initial operation clearance variant. These changes are fixed and flight refueling probe, external fuel tanks, inclusion of internal cannon, tendon pylon in board wing hardpoint and beyond visual range capabilities. So guys, you know this five changes are very important. Now it is capable of doing, you know, air to air refueling, and apart from that, it having three external fuel time, which also increase is endurance. Apart from that, it having a cannon just like the Mirage 2000, the fifth variant, uh, which is the latest variant of the Mirage 2000, and and which has been already upgraded in Mirage in 2011. The same uh, same thing you can see in the LCA Tejas. So the FOC variant is uh, uh, the corrected and the most advanced variant till now for the Mark 1 version. The LCA Tejas now Indian Air Force will operationalize the Mark 1 of the uh, Mark 1 series of the aircraft, which will be in the following squadrons. And the squadron number 18 is designated for the FOC version of flying bullets as the flying bullet is the nickname of the squadron number 18 where the squadron number 45 the flying daggers 
having the IOC version which has been already delivered and they are testing since 2006 and and both of the squadron is now located at the Sulur, Sulur Tamil Nadu and previously the 45th squadron of the LCA Tejas has been in the Bangalore itself but now it has been transferred to Sulur so both the squadron is now in the Sulur Tamil Nadu which is in the Combator district of Tamil Nadu so you can see the IOC variant the FOC variant the difference you can clearly see right so and much more to come and the LCA Tejas you know it is made up of the composite material which makes it semi stealthy and apart from that Tejas uses radar absorbent material and coating for reducing radar cross section and it is also integrated with features like relaxed static stability autopilot helmet mounted display fly by wire technology and engine health monitoring system and you can see the future variant of LCA Tejas will going to be equipped with indigenous Uttam ASR radar so guys uh, this radar uh, will be you know a game changing for the LCA Tejas because it works on the active electronically scan array system and which will also give much more endurance boost to the radar uh, system because it have you know more capability uh, more range and apart from that it is a bit difficult to you know jam it is difficult to jam and it have much more engagement potential so the upcoming time for the LCA Tejas will be much more advancing so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like it do subscribe our channel hit the bell icon